What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again. So I see that we got the DC slate going on uh, today, and I've uh, been wanting to go ahead and check this monk out, see what James Gunn got going on for us, because um, I mean, I'm I, I'm not getting my hopes up, but we're gonna see what we got going on. But let's go ahead and hear him out, see what he got, see what he got. Come on now. I'm James Gunn. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's one of, you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. That the characters are consistent, played by the same actors, and it works within one story. And if something is outside of that, like, Matt Reeves' Batman or Todd Phillips' Joker or Teen Titans Go, that it is clearly labeled as DC Elseworlds, outside of the mainstream DCU continuity. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! has always been off kind of in his own part of the DCU, so he connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. And then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film about a kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman 2, which leads directly into our next few projects, which I'm going to tell you about now. So, Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an 8 to 10 year plan of what DC Studios will be in film, television, and gaming. This first chapter is called Gods and Monsters. Now this, what I'm about to tell you, is a part of the first chapter. It's not the entire first chapter. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. Something we're gonna do that's a little bit different at DC is we're gonna have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. The next project up is Waller. This is a story of Amanda Waller played by Viola Davis. Viola Davis is gonna team up with members of Team Peacemaker, and this is a story that's been created by Crystal Henry, who did Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. It is a fantastic story that's out of this world, and I can't wait for people to see it. Okay, next up is the big one, the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. Okay, the next thing is a big premiere HBO television series called Lanterns. This is a story of a couple of Green Lanterns, Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan, and we have a few other lanterns peppered in there, but this is really a terrestrial-based TV show, which is almost like True Detective with a couple of said, Green of Lanterns who are space about. cops <clears throat> watching over so Precinct Earth. In it, they discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger story of the DCU. Next is a big movie called The Authority. The Authority is a passion project of mine. It's based on that. the marvelous Wildstorm characters. Is. We are now bringing into the DCU and will interact with all of our primary DCU characters. The Authority are a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and they want to fix it by any means necessary. I think it's a very different look at superheroes. We're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is the story of Paradise Island, usually known as Themyscira, which is the birthplace of Wonder Woman. It's almost like Game of Thrones with Westeros, mm. but with all of the inhabitants of Not Paradise sure Island. About that one, the introduction of the DCU's up. Batman is the brave and the bold. The Brave and the Bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian Wayne. This is based on Grant Morrison's great comic book run. Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. He's a little assassin who Batman tries to get in line. And so this is the story of the two of them and the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DCU. Next up is a TV series called Booster Gold. Booster Gold is one of comics' really popular cult heroes. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future who uses future technology to come back to present day and become a superhero so that people will love him. 
It is basically the superhero story of imposter syndrome on an HBO Max series. One of my favorite comic book series from last year was Tom King's run on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And so we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Now, Superman is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents, whereas Supergirl in this story, she is a character who was raised on a chunk of Krypton. She watched everybody around her perish in some terrible way. So she's a much more jaded character. And that brings me to Swamp Thing, the last thing we're going to talk about, a very dark horror story in the origins of the monster who is Swamp Thing. And although it's totally outside of the rest of the DCU, it will still feed into the rest of the stories. Anyway, those are the stories that I can tell you about right now. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique. And something special. Storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to us. And I want to be true to those stories. I want to be true to you guys and really give you something different than you've ever seen before. Anyway, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I hope this was exciting for you because it's really exciting for me. And I can't wait to start to dive into these stories with you guys on this grand adventure. Thank you so much. All righty. So that was it for the DC, the DC slate. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I'm interested to see the Batman Brave and the Bold. Like I said, you already know me; I'm a hardcore Batman fan, so you already know that. As far as all the rest of the stuff, I can care less about. I mean, it does not make sense, anyways. But um, like I said, I don't know how they trying to reboot this and everything. And plus, you know, you're trying to have the Batman Brave and the Bold, and you got Daniel Wayne. Knowing that we have not really seen the other Robins, you know, before him, which I really don't understand that. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I really don't know. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said before with my other videos. I mean, if it don't work out, then hey, we need Zack Snyder to come back. You know what I'm saying? Bring back. Henry Cavill, bring back Ben Affleck, bring back Gal Gadot. Uh, as far as Ezra Miller, he needs to be recast, recast him to a different actor. Uh, as far as Jason Momoa, look, he's still going to be staying as Aquaman from what I've been hearing. And plus he's going to be playing a different character in DC, which is Lobo. So, that, so that's going to be going on. But um, I don't know, man. But that's just, that's just my opinion on it. But like I said, as far as this DC slate goes, I mean... I mean, I'm interested to see Batman, Brave and Bold. But, I mean, I'll, ch I'll check that out. As far as uh, that, uh, uh, that Wonder Woman film, I don't know if that's a movie or a show or whatever, uh, Them Mascara about uh, Wonder Woman's home homeland, her hometown, well, not hometown, but homeland and everything, Them Mascara. Uh, I might check that out. Who knows? I might check it out. But, um, yeah, that's all that I can say on that. <laughs> So post your comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think, man. Are you interested in seeing these type of projects of DC? Let me know what's up. If you're not interested, let me know. Let me know down below. Also, if you're not interested at all, or, or if you are interested, you know, let me know which project you like the most or which project you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comment section below, man. So let me know what y'all think. And uh, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit that like button. And always, subscribe and share it. And I'll catch you guys later. Deuces!